the Constitution provides that gender parity be adhered to in the appointment of the Inspector General of Police and the two deputies. President Uhuru Kenyatta now acknowledges this could be difficult to attain, hence he would be seeking the support of Parliament to amend the provision in order to allow for the appointment of one gender as long as they are able to execute their mandate effectively. I, I, don't think, I don't think the issue was lack of a competent woman. I think the issue is that uh, we need to catch up with, uh, with, with, with time in order to get more, more and more women in senior police positions so that they can indeed take up uh, those, 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 those positions. Speaking on the sidelines of the ongoing United Nations General Assembly in New York, President Uhuru Kenyatta said the August House has to aid in sidestepping the provision. The president, however, said his government is committed to empowering women, but its hands were tied on how to effect the law given the reality of rankings in the police service. We may not be where we want to be, but um, the strides that we are making are, are, are quite impressive. Interior CS General Retired Joseph Nkaiseri says it is impossible to elevate a junior officer to the position of Deputy Inspector General of Police. We have very highly qualified women in the police force who could take over from Kaindi, but they are junior. You cannot accelerate somebody who is so junior to come to, the, to be number two. There must be a process. A uniform service is not like civil service where anybody can jump and, and manga manga and become whatever. The prospects of having a female deputy inspector general in charge of the Kenya police are slim since the police service has only five women who meet the set out requirements. The government has already advertised for the applications to fill the position of the DIG after Grace Kaindi was retired last month. Currently, those who fit the bill are the director of personnel at the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, Mary Oyugi Kaol. The Commandant of CID Training School, Judy Jebet Ndeda. Traffic Commandant, Jacinta Mudoni Kinywa. The Director of Inspection in the Office of the Inspector General, Miriam Mulingina. And Assistant Inspector General, Alice Naliaka. Judith Akolo, Channel One News.